Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to edit the collections forward slash all all products collection catalog page on your Shopify store. Now, this is the default products catalog. If you go here, uh, it will be added automatically to your store. This is your uh, Shopify stores URL forward slash collection collections forward slash all and it will bring up the overall all products page and we'll automatically add all the products to your store now what if you wanted to edit this right maybe you want to reorder it maybe you want to take some products out of it or maybe you just want to customize this a little bit more that's what I'm gonna be showing you here in today's video how to actually edit this uh, and change it because you know maybe you're just not happy with the default sorting or just the fact that it is a default page on your store maybe you just want to go in and edit it and maybe you know slide things around a little bit or change things up a bit uh, on this default collection again this is a default uh, one that is automatically built on your Shopify store without any action on your end uh, to get it built in your store. So this is how to edit it and how to you know change it if you want to make some changes. This is again the catalog page. Uh, this is collections forward slash all, all products uh, and it's a default collection that is automatically added to your Shopify store. It will automatically add every product uh, that you add to your Shopify store as well. So that's going to be showing you here in today's tutorial. But before we dive into things, of course, I do want to mention if you don't already have a Shopify store, why are you watching this video now? You can go ahead and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So of course, first things first, you're going to want to make sure that you are actually logged in to your Shopify store. Uh, next, you are going to want to make sure that you have at least added some products to your store in order for this page to properly populate. And so you can actually get in into editing this collection to where it actually uh, makes any sense on your store. Now, by default, um, when you go to create your Shopify store, you will have um, your Shopify store will automatically populate uh, with like your home page. Uh, you will also see uh, the catalog and it will automatically give you that URL and all the products from the products that you add to your store will be automatically added to this collection. So to edit this and to change it, what you're going to want to do is of course, come over here. Once you've added some products to your store, if you need to add some, just click add product. Um, and, and you just go about adding a product like you would normally do. You might want to add just like a test or something like that. Of course, here on this tutorial store, I have quite a bit of variety of different types of products added. Uh, so no problems there, but add some products then you're going to come over here to the left hand side and click on collections uh, and then this will bring you to your shopify collections editor now uh, by default as you can see here you will not actually see the all collections page to edit or you won't be able to see it because it is automatically built but in order to actually edit it i'm going to be showing you how to do that now keep in mind by default as well you should have a home page collection if you don't does not really matter uh, for this case, uh, but this is where all of your other collections uh, will be shown in your Shopify store as well. So maybe if you want to categorize things further, um, you can go ahead and do that here as well. But for this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and click on create collection. This will then bring up the collection page. Now to make this actually work um, and to make it actually function so that you have your own custom all products page, what you're going to need to do in here is type in all. So this will then essentially replace the default one. We're going to click, we're going to type in all and we're going to go ahead and click save. This is going to replace the default and it will then create your own customizable uh, version of the collections page. Now you're going to want to make sure to, if you click on edit search engine listing, just to make sure, and this is also something that you, you might want to edit in the future if you wanted to change the name. Um, but you do need the URL. Essentially you change the title, you created it as all. And then by default, um, on this new all collection that you've just now created, um, we're going to add a couple products in there in just a second. Uh, <laughs> but the URL handle will be your stores URL dot com forward slash collections forward slash all. Um, this will essentially replace the default one. So if we go ahead and refresh this now, as you can see here, there's no products because we've now replaced with our own custom all collection uh, that you can add products to and actually customize it. Um, so what we're gonna go ahead and do here is add some products. We're gonna go browse. We're just gonna add like, I don't know, a few. So we got the beanie. Uh, we're just gonna do, 
I don't know, just a few random products. So go ahead and add those there. Now, this is the perk of having your own customizable all collection is you can just put what you want to see on that page. So you're essentially able to edit that URL. Um, and if we go ahead and refresh this here now, as you can see, those five products have now populated. Now, this is no longer going to default to adding all the products on this page. This is now just going to be uh, a page that is showing off your own custom version of the all products page. So it's not going to just display all the products um, how it typically would function by default. So this is how you go and edit it. Now the benefit and perk to this too uh, is you're able to then sort things differently on the page. So you can have it by default sort by best selling. Um, so it might actually be the same order here. Uh, yeah, because I've not made any sales on here. So that's not, there's no data there. Highest price. So as you can see, that will change there. Um, so we can refresh here. Um, and so sort by highest price. It does sometimes take a minute for things to actually update, uh, on the products page. We go ahead and refresh there. So, it, you know, you still have the regular, um, sorting on there. Let's go ahead and just go back to the home page. And then go back to the catalog. So as you can see here, the default now shows price high to low um, because that's what I selected here um, of the highest price. Um, so you can also sort manually too if you want to move things around manually. So if you wanted to feature one specific product at the top of your all products page um, and, and keep that all URL there keep that the same uh, you can do that now so you can sort manually and we can go ahead and refresh this here now as you can see the beanie has taken that first slot because we have it sorted uh, in a specific featured order uh, that you can edit here on the collections in the back end of your shopify store now if you do want to change the page title meta description uh, you can also do that here on the seo settings or in the title um, I, you probably would want to change it in the title here so you could change this then to all products um, and because you initially saved it just as all, uh, it shouldn't change the URL because you're going to want to make sure you keep that URL forward slash all so that it um, actually keeps the changes under your default catalog page on your Shopify store. If we come back here and go ahead and refresh, I might take a second here. Yeah, so it does, it does take a second sometimes for these changes to actually populate. We go back to the collection. It's still showing all, um, but essentially that title will change to, to all products. And we just put collection, um, all products collection, go ahead and click save. Um, and then we refresh here. See, now as you can see, it does say all products collection uh, and it still does have the same uh, forward slash all URL. So it will still show on that, that page. Um, and now you're able to edit it however you pretty much see fit. Um, and that is essentially how you edit uh, that all products catalog page. Another benefit to this too, uh, is you can add in uh, extra images, maybe uh, additional descriptions or things like that. Um, like if you wanted to add some extra information about your products or maybe even add a table uh, or something. So you can add additional information here. Uh, you can even change the theme template. Not gonna be getting into that in this video, but you can do that here too uh, as additional things that you can edit on this page that you wouldn't normally or by default be able to edit on that catalog page. Uh, and now automatically, you know, you go to the catalog that's already linked in your uh, nav bar too by default. And now you actually have your own custom version of that collections all page. So you can take some products out if you don't want necessarily everything on there uh, and kind of can cater it specifically to what you want and you can sort it uh, however you want as well um, to change that default sorting and to change just the total amount of products that are in there or the title and description, things like that. So pretty simple step. It's just about making sure that that URL here does stay as forward slash all so that it will automatically replace the all products collection. And then when you go back to your collections, um, as you can see here, we now have that all products collection uh, and you can feel free to add other collections in here too. Um, but you know, that's essentially how you do it, right? You change the URL and it will automatically replace it here um, on that all products page and you can do whatever you want with it edit it just like any other typical normal collection page uh, so guys that pretty much wraps up this quick tutorial here on how to edit your catalog all products collections page that collections forward slash all on your shopify store so you can move the products around however you want 
uh, and, and, and not just have that default um, capability. If you want it to go back to default, you can always just delete the all product, the new all page, and it will automatically go back to the default uh, and automatically start re-adding just every product you add to your store. Uh, so guys, that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brandvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. So you right over this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, if you guys found this uh, tutorial helpful, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.